Hi everyone, it's Dr. Dickinson. This video I'm going to be showing you how you can use Screencastify to record your screen. Now this is a nice tool if you want to create a video to share with your students or if you've been asked in your class to narrate a presentation. And the art of narration is a really important skill for you to have as a classroom teacher. So in this video I'll be showing you how you can do that. So let's get started. Once you are logged into your Google account, as you can see I am because I have my little icon here, um, Google has a browser called Chrome which will allow you to add extensions or apps, if you will, onto your browser for quick use and um, just desktop tools, if you will. So the one tool that I recommend that's fun, it's fast, it's easy to use, and best of all, it's free, is Screencastify. As you can see, I already have it on my browser, but I'm going to show you how to get it. So just go into Chrome Extension Store. You can also do that through your menu up here at the top. Click on that, and there are a series of tools that you can download that will go right into your browser. And the tool we're looking for is Screencastify. You will have to add it to your Chrome. As you can see, I've already, I already have this tool, so that's why I'm not able to add it. Once you add it to your um, Chrome browser, it will pop up like it is here on my Chrome browser. Then simply all you need to do is whenever you're doing a presentation, let's say you're in your drive, you're ready to start recording your presentation. Um, then you simply get into your presentation mode. And when you're ready to record, you click on this button, this little icon here. And it's going to give you some options. Okay, now I recommend for your presentation you put it into present mode so that way the viewer can just see your entire screen. So you just click on this button here, present. And now when you're presenting, you can just go through the slides and narrate. Okay, so that's just a few tips. Ready to record? Click on this button. You'll see an option to record. Now, um, I like to just use the desktop so it records my screen, but you can also just record your face. This would be webcam only. And then you have an option. Um, you want to make sure that your microphone is embedded. See, it's hearing my microphone because the screen light is, is going up. But you can also click on this button if you want to embed a webcam. And what this will do is when you're presenting, this little square at the bottom will pop up. It will record you, your face, your video. Um, on the video that you're recording. So that's another option. And then finally, once you're done, you just click on the button to stop recording and all of your videos will appear in a file called My Recordings. And this will pop up once you finish your recording. You'll have the option to delete it if you're feeling like, uh, eh, this isn't what I want. Um, it also allows you some options Hi everyone, it's Dr. in terms of sharing. So if you want to share your video on YouTube and get a YouTube link, then it will give you a shareable link. Uh, you can change the privacy settings. You can also copy the link and put it into Google Classroom if you are working with Google Classroom. You also have the option of just having the video on Google Drive, which uh, will give you another shareable link, but remember, if you're sharing this with people, you want to make sure that you select one of these three options. Either people who have the link can view it or anyone can find it. All right, so that's a quick tutorial on how to use Screencastify. I'm actually using um, QuickTime Video to record this video, uh, which is another option that I'll do in another video if you're a Mac user. Thanks so much, and again, please feel to ask questions on the YouTube comments.